So what does Rainy Day Productions present this time? Does it present the old 1950s wooden windows of the other house? That badly need to be replaced because they are leaky. Or does it present the puddles on the attic floor that appear every time it's raining? No, it presents an early 80s Onkyo receiver. This is the Onkyo model TX7230 receiver, which I found at the dump a while ago. It was standing there, it was raining, and uh, I saved it. Now, this is quite an impressive unit if you're just looking at it. You have uh, lots and lots of buttons, lots and lots of LEDs, two tape monitor loops, having this uh, nice old fluorescent display for the frequency of the tuner, and uh, all kinds of stuff. You can activate something here and uh, can push something there and uh, do something here. And uh, it even has some, uh, some light bulbs sitting in the display. As you can see, if I turn all the lights off, the lettering, the labeling of this uh, display remains readable because it's backlit. Now, this video is already going quite a bit different from what I planned to do originally. Now, I got this Onkyo receiver off of the dump, and I, when I plugged it in the first time to see if it would work, it seemed to be just a total disaster. None of the LEDs on the front turned on, the speaker relay wasn't clicking, the little fluorescent display on the front for the tuner uh, just displayed all of the digits, so uh, like the FM and AM and megahertz and kilohertz, that was all lighting up at the same time. I was also looking pretty, pretty bad in the inside. It's still looking pretty bad. I haven't done anything to it yet. It's uh, very dusty, and as you can see, when it was at the dump, uh, it got wet, so that makes the dust extra bad. The transformer was lying in there all loose. I just put it in place with some uh, inappropriate screws temporarily so they wouldn't move around all too bad. The next thing I noticed, somebody bridged one of the fuses with a piece of copper wire. It's one of the speaker fuses. And uh, that all together made me think that this was just a complete fail and I was actually going to show you that and just uh, just capture how this thing looked uh, so that uh, so that I could remember it and then I would have brought this one back to the dump. But uh, well, when I turn it on to make this uh, demonstration to show you how it was looking uh, with uh, the display being defective and uh, none of the LEDs working and just just nothing reacting, uh, the tuner wasn't doing anything. Um, it just, uh, well, it came on and uh, the display was fine, all the LEDs were lighting up, and uh, even the speaker relay is clicking. So uh, I don't know what's going on in here, maybe a bad soldering joint, but um, what we are going to do now is we are going to find out if this actually works. And uh, if it does, maybe I can uh, make a little presentation. So uh, let me first get my multimeter to uh, test the speaker outputs. Well, first the sad story turned into a happy story, and now the happy story turns back into a sad story. So you can see this amplifier, this receiver is using one of these amplifier chips. This is an STK4843 stereo amplifier. And uh, this is the type of chip that uh, can already be destroyed just by shorting the speaker wires. And unfortunately, and that's why I got the voltmeter, one of the speaker outputs is reading around about minus 40 volts. The other channel reads minus 4.9 volts. That is not okay either. It's supposed to be on zero volts exactly. 
So, um, yeah, that's why I'm always uh, using a voltmeter to first test this type of uh, amplifier setup. Because uh, I once actually managed to blow up a speaker just uh, by connecting it to one of these uh, blown amplifier chips. The speaker actually started smoking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess that's also why this uh, speaker fuse terminal right there is shorted. And, uh, well, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much the end of this story. Because uh, uh, I probably won't be able to fix that. I do have a couple of these uh, chips in my replacement parts, but they're all three-digit types, STK and then uh, three numbers. So uh, I won't have any of those lying around, I guess. So, um, well, I'll ask a friend of mine, he does have a couple of those chips lying around too, maybe he has one. And if not, maybe this thing is going to end up on eBay. I mean, now at least everything, aside from the amplifier, is working. I mean, before it was just, uh, was just not doing anything. So, uh, well, I guess that's the end of this video already, unfortunately. So, hope you've enjoyed it. And see you again soon.